A year ago, a content creator got in a large controversy with various different content creators that ended up destroying his entire career and leaving it to rest permanently. That YouTuber was Prism Mate Luke, someone I actually, completely by coincidence, recently covered on this channel when I did a complete recap on the entire drama surrounding him and why he left YouTube. Prism Mate Luke got in controversy with people like me, remade a video where he labelled me a clout chaser, spread unfair and slanderous labels about me, and inevitably apologised to me in private removing those videos. But I was one of the people who got off lightest and best with Luke. There's examples like Hopeless Peaches where the apology they got was non-existent and the videos Luke made on them had remained largely up after he'd acknowledged wrongdoing within those videos. But that was where the story ended. Luke got his backlash, Peaches reclaimed her career and most people moved on. That was until today, when 18 hours ago, as of recording this video, Prism Mate Luke uploaded a final response, something literally nobody expected, and something that really came as a large surprise. Now, just a forewarning for this video, I've spoke to every party involved in this situation. That includes Luke, that includes Peaches. I spoke to Luke, I offered for him to do an interview for this video where I would talk to him about the situation and try and get a more expanded view upon what he had to say in this four minute video, because I felt it really didn't give him the opportunity to dig into the meat and bones of the situations he was involved in and properly discuss his mistakes. However, Luke did politely decline to comment, which I totally respect. So today I'm going to look at this video and give my opinion on it from the perspective I've seen of various people surrounding me that I've spoke to and my thoughts in regards to this video. And just to put it out there, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything in regards to this situation. This situation will tackle a lot of very serious subjects, and I'm sure not everyone's going to feel comfortable with them. So, that being said, if you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. That would be highly appreciated. I'm aiming for 100,000 subscribers, and we're itching closer and closer to that goal every single day. I appreciate all of the recent support on the channel. I can't say much more other than thank you for allowing me to live out this dumb childhood dream. And with that being said, let's get into Luke's video. Hey, it's been a minute, and by a minute I mean over a year since I last uploaded. Sorry if the quality is bad or the voice is a bit out. I haven't recorded in over a year, and I just moved into a different house. I've been putting this off for a long time now, and to be honest, I haven't even looked at my channel since I last uploaded. I just wanted to try and get away from this all and run away from all of it. But it wasn't fair to just leave like that out of the blue and never explain anything. I handled my exit really poorly, and I left a lot unsaid and didn't resolve much of anything. And for that, I'm sorry. I appreciate that directly at the start of this video, he acknowledges the fact that it's taken him so long to address this situation, that he left his channel without really explaining anything, and that he really didn't help himself in regards to this situation, and that the blame for that squarely falls on him. I handled a lot of drama, especially towards the end of me being on YouTube awfully. And I never apologized publicly or even talked about it at all. And that's one thing I've got to give him a lot of credit for. I know a lot of people who aren't in the public eye wouldn't understand this. Because it's very hard to wrap your head around having a social media following in the first place. It doesn't feel real to acknowledge such a big audience of people that are following you and engaged with every single thing you say or do online. I feel like it's something the human brain can't actually comprehend on a deeper level. But experiencing controversy on a larger scale is a very terrifying experience and in many cases it can be more stressful than any other experience you've ever had in your life. I know when I had my situation with Luke, and this is something I don't really like to discuss, but I feel I might as well. Now this situation's kind of wrapped itself up, and I don't think people will take this as some form of trying to garner sympathy anymore if I say it. Back when I had a few thousand subs, and Luke made his videos on me that had a couple hundred thousand views at the time, and the backlash was so overwhelming towards me that it felt like I would never escape it, and that my entire life was over in that moment. It sounds really dumb, but it, it genuinely is a thing a lot of people feel. I was going through panic attacks. I could barely eat, I could barely sleep, I struggled to breathe, I had one of the worst panic attacks of my life and I don't think I could explain that feeling and how helpless I felt in that moment if I tried. It's just such a hard thing to explain to someone who's never experienced it. And I have to give Luke credit because Luke returned to his platform, a platform where everyone hates him, a year later, not even with the intent to try and grow back his channel or continue posting on this channel, purely so that he could finally close the book on these situations and acknowledge his fault and wrongdoing. I have to give him credit for that because I know how genuinely scary it is to have an entire audience that are angry at you. And I know a lot of people in the audience won't understand that. And normally whenever I discuss something like this, I see comments from people that are like, 
acting as if content creators don't have feelings and like they would handle it any better and like content creators are entitled to think they have a right to complain when they have it so easy and it's hard to say those perspectives aren't completely valid because in a lot of ways content creators are very privileged in the life we live in the opportunities we're given but obviously when it comes to receiving backlash on such a big scale it's something indescribably scary it's something that can lead to people's deaths in more extreme cases and it's something i feel not a lot of people talk about on a larger scale so while i think there are a lot of mistakes in this video i have to give luke credit for at least having the guts to make this video that being said i do have a lot of criticisms to make towards this video i tried handling things privately and sweeping it under the rug but it wasn't the right thing to do and it didn't do much of anything anyway i got really angry at people to be honest way too angry at people, unjustifiably angry. And I let that get in the way of doing the right thing or even being smart about it. And I dragged a lot of things on, especially with Harley, way too long. And one of my bigger issues with this video is that when Luke touches on the drama he's referencing here, he really doesn't explain any of it. And I understand Luke isn't good with his words. I feel like a lot of people at this point know Luke isn't great with his words, but it's just a little disappointing that when Luke touches on my situation and other situations we'll get to in a second, the only mention he really gives of what he did wrong was dragging it out and other unnamed mistakes he made. I think that's a bit of an extreme way of downplaying what Luke did. Luke made several videos where he alleged that I was defending someone he was saying was sending porn to minors, which is a completely unfounded claim. He'd contacted friends that I'd spoke to in private and dragged our private disagreements up into his video to spin a narrative that I was a bad friend to these people. He said I was a clout chaser because I wanted to grow my channel and because I made videos on trending subjects. He brought up a controversy I'd had with some artists in the past where I hadn't paid them properly due to some confusion and other disagreements agreements we'd had in private, something I resolved as soon as it was acknowledged and I think was one of very few fair points he had, but I felt it was twisted and represented very disingenuously. He brought up a video I'd made several years ago and changed the narrative behind it to make it sound like I supported content on this platform and other platforms that I simply didn't. And it's a shame that when Luke discusses that, he doesn't explain what he did wrong there instead of opting to simply say that he'd drawn the situation out instead of the more grounded reality, that he'd wronged me and Brad and spread slanderous claims around our names without any kind of responsibility. That's what really happened in that situation, and it's disappointing that Luke didn't address it that way or represent it that way. I fucked up, and that's not the only thing. I fucked up a lot, especially when it came to information about other creators like Just a Robot or Just Stop. I just got things wrong and never really talked about it. And so many other examples or situations, it's just I didn't handle myself right, and I never apologized for when I didn't. And I just refused to do the smart thing, and I eventually just stopped looking at everything. My socials, my my channel, even other drama videos, because I just, I couldn't handle it. That said, this isn't a sympathy upload. I fucked up a lot, and it wasn't fair to just drop it all like it was nothing. Me reacting to other people poorly is on me, and I shouldn't have just run away like that. I got really bitter, unjustifiably bitter towards people, and it wasn't fair. And I never tried to fix my mistakes or even really explain it at all. I just wanted to get away from it all. And this isn't me apologizing so I can come back without backlash or try to get back into drama because that's not what I want to do. I appreciate that he says that this video isn't intended so he can come back and that he doesn't plan to come back because it means this video seems a lot more genuine. Now, my opinion will change on this if Luke does come back to the platform and start uploading as usual again. So just a warning, this could be an outdated statement whenever you're watching this video in the future. But if Luke doesn't intend to return, this video represents at least that he is choosing willingly when there's no benefit for him in this situation to return acknowledge fault and apologize for his mistakes which in that case is something i respect i respect that he made the effort even if he didn't have to to apologize and address these situations when there is no benefit in it for him that's something i have to give him credit for i don't plan on coming back to this channel this will probably be the final video on the channel hopefully and i especially don't plan on talking about drama ever again i handled stuff poorly and i didn't enjoy it anyway especially towards the end of me doing this if I ever did anything on YouTube again, it would be with other people, and even that would be really iffy. Also, just to be clear, I'm going to be privating some of my older videos I don't really agree with anymore or want to leave up. This is something I have to give Luke credit for, because the biggest problem I had 
was the fact that Luke had addressed wrongdoing in many situations, but had left his videos up on those situations, which means people who stumbled upon them and didn't see him addressing the wrongdoing within these videos could believe what he said within them, even to this day. The fact he's removing videos on situations he made mistakes on means that we can shut the book on a lot of these cases, and means that Luke's mistakes and the misinformation spread within these videos won't spread any further, that we can finally nip it in the bud and leave these situations in the past. I'm not sure exactly how many I'm going to be taking down, but especially with some of my older drama videos, like the Hopeless Peaches ones, I don't really want to leave those up and feed into the drama anymore, especially since it's gone on for so long that I don't even really know what's up with it anymore. Especially since Shannon or Creepshow Art turned out to be a terrible person, I don't really want to leave that up to kind of support her anymore. And this is the biggest issue many people have with this video. When Luke addresses Hopeless Peach's controversy, he doesn't address it properly, he doesn't address his wrongdoing, he instead chooses to push most of the blame on Shannon and say he doesn't really know what's going on with that situation. That's an incredibly poor way to handle what Luke did, because Luke was the main cause of many of the issues in that situation. If you don't remember, which I don't blame you because it was a long while ago, Luke made several videos on Peaches because Peaches disagreed with him on a subject. He would leak private DMs from Peaches from a private discussion where they were trying to resolve the issues in a video where he would gloat about the fact that he was poning Peaches, so to speak, label Peaches a suicide beta because she effectively didn't take her life and bandwagon against her with various other content creators to effectively cancel her and ruin her career and also most of her reputation on social media for being a quote-unquote bad friend. This was one of Luke's biggest mistakes in his entire time making content. Labeling someone a suicide beta is very risky and it was even more risky because he only said this because Peaches posted saying goodbye on their Twitter. It was dangerous, it was irresponsible of Luke to do this, and as the person who had to be on a call with Peaches after they made an attempt on their life, it was incredibly disgusting to see him say something so dangerous in his video. It's an irresponsible argument that I don't think many people should make unless they have the valid evidence to back it up and they have some form of actual proof. Don't get me wrong, I think it's quite hard to prove something like that, but I also think it's much better for it to be harder to prove it than for someone to claim claim it irresponsibly just because they can and get away with it without any kind of backlash. Now I will give Luke credit, when he was criticised for this and his poor covering of the Peaches situation in his video, he left a pinned comment updating his video and providing a well needed addressal of the Peaches situation. In this pinned comment he says, Hey, I know I missed the mark on addressing my involvement in the Hopeless Peaches situation and would like to make sure that I address it properly even if it's in a pinned comment. I fucked up majorly in how I handled that situation. I take full responsibility for my part in how long and drawn out it was. I'm sorry for my comments relating to your mental health and for making those videos without thinking things out for nearly as long as I should have. I know this doesn't mean much, but I hope in time you can heal from the damage my videos caused you. I should have explained that better in the video and gone over it more. I've been really harebrained and fell asleep shortly after posting this video, so I'm sorry for not making it clear and explaining things better or going into more detail on it. Now, I and others wish Luke said this within the video. I feel he probably should have scripted this video and actually addressed many of the situations that you fucked up in instead of giving them very very surface level mentions as if they weren't as major a thing as they were or that his involvement wasn't as big as it was in those situations but I do appreciate that he listened to the backlash on this video and he properly apologized to Peaches even if it wasn't a pinned comment. I appreciate that. It's unfortunate that this was the way he handled this response but I do think there is net positives to be had from this video. I think this video does a lot of good. Firstly it nips the bud on so many mistakes Luke's made meaning we can finally put the videos that he now privatized in the past and hopefully people that were damaged by those videos can heal and move on. Secondly, we've opened a channel of communication with Luke, so if we notice any more videos on this channel that spread this kind of misinformation, we can get him to address them or remove them. And thirdly, it gives some needed closure to Luke's situation. Finally, we know what happened to Luke, that he has just quit, moved on with his life. And for better, there's, there's no for worse there. I'm, I'm not going to be that charitable to him. For better, he's not posting drama videos anymore, which I think is a net positive. I know a lot of people had issues with this video, how it was very lackadaisical, how it was very low effort, how it was very simple, cut and dry, and briefly touched on subjects. But I do think it, for me at least, allows this shit to finally end and gives the people Luke wronged a chance to speak up about their issues and finally have a video they can point to to say Luke has acknowledged wrongdoing in these situations in hopes that it helps clear their name so that they can resume their potentially damaged careers by Luke. With that being said though, there's not really much more to say in regards to this situation. Luke came back, admitted wrongdoing, attempted to address his situations to the best of his ability and he now intends to disappear from social media. And I think this is honestly 
probably one of the best outcomes we could get. I appreciate that you made the effort, even if I think there's a lot of flaws with this video. And I think a lot of people have reacted a bit too impulsively to this, going and giving it a lot of backlash. I don't think this video was too bad. I think he made an effort. I think him removing videos that he fucked up in is a good thing. And I appreciate that he's trying to apologize and right his wrongs, even though there's no benefit in it for him. That doesn't mean I forgive Luke for what he did to me, but it at least means I can move on. With that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. I've been making more of these Ludwig, I guess, esque videos recently on his Mogul Mail channel, where I talk about situations like this that interest me on an easier and more relaxed schedule that suits my daily uploading. If you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. I'm aiming for 100,000 subscribers in the next few months. It's a goal that can only be achieved with you, the, the individual that's looking at me right now. We're making eye contact. Can you see that? We're making eye contact. It's crazy, isn't it? I know one of my eyes is covered by my hair because my eyes are a mess, but you, I'm looking at you. It's you. It's you. You're the one that hasn't subscribed. You're the one individual. Click that button or I swear to God, Santa won't be the only thing that's coming next Christmas. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> You can also check out my Twitter if you'd like to support me over there so you can get live updates on these situations as they happen. And with that being said, I'll see you next time. Peace. Says she wanna rock with a nigga like me. I'm a stylish guy. Spend a little walk with a nigga like me. We can catch a fly. Says she wanna rock with a nigga like me.